Are you ready to harness your vibrational energy? Get this episode of Psychological Upgrade featuring Katoto Sunshine Love with Dr. Sarah Larson. Galactic teachings, transmissions, and practices to raise your vibrational energy. Do not miss this one to create a life of joy, abundance, and love. This episode on the Council of Light will help you manifest your deepest desires. This show will reach you. Raise your vibrational energy, allow you to create a life of joy, abundance, and love. Yes, you won't want to miss this one. It's amazing. Click the links below and sign up for our newsletter so you can keep in touch with all the latest updates for raising your vibration. We'll also send you some free gifts just for signing up. Sign up now by clicking on links on this post. Galactic teachings, transmissions, and practices to raise your vibrational energy. Do not miss this one to create a life of joy, abundance, and love. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh my gosh, Miracle Makers, we are in season four and you're at show 10. This one is the galactic teachings, transmissions, and practices to raise your vibrational energy. More than ever before, your energy is needed on the planet. And the way that astrology, astronomy is showing up in your chart, in everyone's chart, this is the time to raise your vibrational frequency, get the transmissions. And today I am joined by, wow, and we are featuring Katoto Sunshine Love. Hi. Hi. How are you? (laughs) I'm so fantastic. I'm so energized by today's topic and by all that we have in store. For everyone, this is a call-in show. So we'll be answering your calls and connecting with you on the call. And the Galactic Council is here with you. Katoto, tell us all that you're going to share with us today. You've got quite a lovely spread that I'm looking at. I do. So I have a rainbow pashmina to represent the rainbow ray. Um, I have um, the violet flame. This was infused with Archangel Zadkiel's aura spray. Um, And I have the ancestral spray as well uh, for the red ray. It's just really beautiful when you can use the colors to change something in your life. Simply saying, I am the violet flame, and you invoke that energy. And immediately you will start to notice things (laughs) in red and in blue and in violet. And you will start to be like, oh my God. And your your whole mood, everything changes. Just try it with me. Um, I am the violet flame. And so I wore my violet dress for that occasion and we're talking about um, color rays that I've learned a little bit about in the Council of Light book by Danielle Rama Hoffman. It's a lovely book and it talks about adding ingredients of the things that you want in life that you can manifest anything you want and you desire in life and um, so what I did was I brought a few of my favorite things. <laughs> and this is my pyramid from my dear friend and business partner, Karen Lagrange at www.thecrystalmatrix.net. And you can order a um, pyramid from her directly, or you can come through me. And what she does is she goes directly to source. She doesn't know exactly what's going to be um, in the pyramid, but she goes to source and immediately all the trinkets and crystals that you needed and that were for your situation show up. Um, I can put this underneath my massage table and I can say, heal my client, please. And it does. It's very intelligent and it listens. It will protect you from EMFs. It'll protect you from Wi-Fi. Um, it will, you can put things underneath the pyramid 
and it will draw those things to you. I've got a plate here also from Karen LaGrange. Look at this stunning plate. Isn't this beautiful? She put all the crystals on the outside this time. And what I can do is I can put my hands over it and clear my hands before going to heal you and heal someone else. And also you can, it's a charging plate, so you can put crystals on it. You can put your sprays. I put my sprays on it. You can put um, water which I'm going to do right now, and so I will drink some of that later on in the show. Um, put water on the charging plate for 10 minutes. Uh, you can put jewelry. I, I've put shoes on there. And then I brought my Labadorite, um, my Labadorite singing bowl, which Labadorite activates the higher chakras at the same time as grounding you. So I'm just gonna play that right now. And I can do a sound bath for um, anybody that comes to see me. I can do a sound bath of the singing bowls. I have citrine, I have aquamarine, and labradorite, which labradorite's my favorite because of the higher chakras and the grounding at the same time. Very, very beautiful stone to have by your bedside at night. And um, these are my favorite things. This is what I love to do. <laughs> It's so beautiful what we're diving into today. Every show we prepare ourselves to be able to give, transmit what we're talking about for the week. And for you to be able to channel the counsel of light yourself, to bring in and add more guidance, intuition, possibilities, to be the change that you wish to be in the world. It's really an incredible journey. The Council of Light's been talked about for hundreds of years, and I got initiated by Bill Picknard years ago, and the first person that taught me a little bit about the Council of Light was Greg Roach. He and I led a trip into Egypt, into the Great Pyramids, and into Giza. It was quite extraordinary. And I really understand and learned how beautiful it is for you to be able to join. The, you've got to have it to be able to give it. So Katoto mm -hmm. Sunshine Love has all of these resources. These I've got all of these resources. You've got all of these resources. Just like when you look at a rainbow, a cat, a dog, a mouse looking at a rainbow, isn't able to see all the colors because they don't have the receptors that you have. You've got receptors for the Council of Light. That's why Mother Mary and all of those that we read in the Bible or stories that we hear, we're able to see and communicate with the light, with the angels, with the, the Council that's always available for you. You've got to believe those receptors are available. And as Katoto just shared, it's so beautiful to add in more. It's so beautiful to add in more. And we've got callers coming in today. We so do. <laughs> Yay. I'm so happy you called in. Thank you so much. We'll take in um, Joseph and we'll see Joseph. We're so excited that you're here, Joseph Alexander. If you could speak up, we'd love for you to connect in and for us to hear you. Let's see if his mic. And I know Joseph. Joseph is probably in Sedona or has just returned from Sedona oh, wow. from having a Galactic Council meeting there as well oh wow <laughs> oh that's so exciting and, um so we'll keep him are we able to hear joseph um hi hi yay I, can, I i don't know what's going on i can't hear very well it might be my my hair my hair might be in my under my microphone but we hear you, and so we're so excited. What would you like to share? And we're excited for all of the grounding and the light and all of the transmissions that are coming in. Um, are you speaking to me? We Joseph? are speaking to you, Joseph. Mm -hmm. What's your question? Um, 
I don't really have any questions right now. I was just wondering how uh, Kitoto Sunshine Love is doing. Oh, um, well, thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing great today. I'm having a wonderful day. I've got my rainbow pashmina. I've got my sprays and crystals and pyramids and my water, my charging plate. I feel amazing, especially in this dress because I asked the Council of Light um, how they could get in touch with me and immediately purple came up. So it's not just invoking the violet flame for me when I see purple, which is all over our screen. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's definitely a way that the Council of Light is getting in touch with me through you, through through, excuse me, shapes, colors, um, experiences, sounds, um, just feelings, emotions. They just, that picture right there, they just um, speak to you in so many different languages and it really depends on what resonates with each individual person as I'm sure you know. So thank you for asking. I'm doing great. I'm really excited. I, I have so many new tools and fun things for my clients and I can't wait to get people started and, and um, we're going to do something for the new moon possibly. So um, you're more than welcome to join us. So Joseph, so exciting. Thank you for calling in and we're so glad that you can, uh, um, and it's so clear when you're able to see the patterns and the patterns that Katoto is sharing. Um, Greg Braden, a long time ago, taught, but he researched and shared going to the Tibetan monks and going to the Native Americans, going to all of these different sites. And he said, wow, and the, uh, the, what caused the shift in the environment, what caused the shift were when the Tibetans were praying and turning their prayer wheels, it wasn't the wheel itself so much as the feeling that was invoked within them. And then same thing with the Native Americans, they saw it in their mind's eye, the shift and the change. And so Katoto Sunshine Love connecting with the council has brought the change. Anyone that was challenged or anyone that was going through difficulties, any similar to hers or their own, she was able to say, what tools do I need on me, around me to be able to create the transformation. And so here it is, the lab, labdurite singing bowl yes. that <laughs> connects you to the cosmos. Crystals hold a frequency. And when we empty ourselves, when you empty yourself, you're able to receive all that the earth wants to give you, all that the cosmos want to give you, all of the communication that's happening. And it's so beautiful to really feel the sensation and feel the changes that are coming through. And um, I love that usually Joseph has a hard time with audio. And so mm -hmm. he was, it's quite a miracle that he's in with us. So welcome, Joseph. We're so glad that you are here. I know we've got other callers on the line. Before we go to those other callers, could we transmit some of the sound bowl synergy yes. for, yes, for Joseph? Yes, Joseph, this here, I'm going to, I'm, I'm getting the feeling that it's I, I know you're working with the Galactic Council, but I'm getting the feeling that it's a little bit for the uh, ancestors want to work with you. So I'm going to spray that around me and just kind of tune into the red ray.
thank you so much for allowing me to give that to you. That's for your higher chakras and to ground you as well. And I feel like your ancestors want to work with you. They want to help you with your journey with the Council of Light. And they want to help you manifest the things in your life that you truly want, including a microphone that works when you call us so we can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Even the smallest little things they want to help you with. Yes. And we want you to call in, whether it's the phone number that you see on the screen, 323-524-2599, or if you're in the Zoom room, we will get to you as quickly as we can in the Zoom room. And so stay on hold. Stay in the room with us until we get you in. We're so glad that you're here. And for, if for anyone that wants to be able to connect to the higher frequencies, you've got to remind yourself that the Earth, that you are traveling at 220 kilometers per second across the galaxy, right? The moon, the stars, every bit of the cosmos is <clears throat> able to communicate. And that communication is incredible. You can tune into and allow yourself to hear what the frequency, the vibration of all of the planets that are aligned. And when we do a new moon ceremony, we clear the space, we clear the past, we allow that stillness and we do that stillness in a group to allow the group Right, group energy is so powerful. If you watch birds flying and fish um, swimming or mammals traveling across land, murmuration when they when they fly in a pattern that allows them to fly higher and faster, swim deeper and more safely, or travel so quickly, it's amazing. It's a murmuration. And so humans, especially during the new moon, we get this opportunity. And during full moons, we're especially passionate about new moons because you can download and harness the energy within your body to be able to fully, fully be at the furthest reaches of your potential. And so the um, I'm so excited about the new moon ceremonies. So share a little bit about what we do. Well, um, last new moon, I was going through a little bit of a tizzy a, a bit. And I went to Dr. Larson and she said, oh my goodness, it's the new moon. And she came into my apartment and she saged it. And she said, we're going to bring in the new. And she saged my, my feet and my body and she saged my whole apartment. And little did I know that I would be leaving that apartment that very next, before the month was up to an even better place where I can heal my clients and um, where I can work in, in more space and, and just expand and have more privacy, uh, do retreats. And so this is something that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. So in the new moon ceremony, what I will be doing is I will be cleansing with the Aquamarine 528 Hertz um, singing bowl. And then I will be giving you a prosperity bath to draw in uh, some money and some abundance for you. And then to ground you before you leave, I will be using my Labadurite singing bowl as well. And I will be using the scarves. So this is the violet flame. So I would be getting up and I'd be dancing and I would be putting the scarf on you. And this would be sprayed with Archangel Zadkiel's violet flame, the essence of the crystals and of the angel himself. So this you would have to take home with you. You could use it as a healing tool. You could use it just each new moon. You could have something new because it'll be a, a different color each time. I have every color of the rainbow and so many different sprays that coincide with that from Archangel Raphael to the Green Ray to uh, Mother Mary 
light blue. And so we will just be dancing, playing the singing bowls, and I'll also be singing a little bit and just getting that fresh energy. And what we're going to do is have you lie down on the uh, massage table. I will place a pyramid underneath the massage table with your intentions underneath the pyramid for the new moon. And that will be our way of cleansing out the old. And I'm sure Dr. Sarah might want to sage. And we will cleanse out the old and bring in the new. And the new, you'll have clear direction of exactly what you are meant to be doing for that month and how to harness the energies of the times to bring it in. And we've got another color. I love um, and a welcome color as we're getting the color brought up. I want you to recognize you are light. Welcome caller. We're so glad that you're here. Hi, I just had a couple questions if you don't mind. Sure. Hi. Hi. Um, yeah, I was I was curious about I'm not really familiar with new moon, full moon. What what is the, the difference and in, in where did the ritual of the new moon originate from? So such a great question and mm -hmm. so beautifully asked. Um, just once upon a time, we didn't understand the weather. And the um, and yet the farmers' almanac types, right, that were keeping records, whether they were in the temples in Egypt or in um, writings in India or in Greece, they knew what signs to look for in order to understand whether rain was happening, a flood was coming. S same thing with the moon, Chinese. Um, Indian, Native American, Native to most lands have understood that during a new moon, when uh, geographically speaking, I think the sun is, the moon is furthest from the earth, and the influence that it's having is the least amount on the earth. And during that time frame, those that practiced ritual and and it's interesting to say it this way right once upon a time there there we had dna that made vitamin c on chromosome 8 we made <laughs> vitamin c over time our need for making vitamin c got externalized and we receive it from the outside and those babies that get vitamin c or folic acid expand out and become <laughs> Um, you know, healthy in uterus. Well, same thing with the moon, with when we line up our eyesight, our vision, our heart, our bodies to the cycle of the moon, we wind up lining up and accessing, activating processes that aren't available the rest of the time. So for example, during the full moon, coral spawn in the ocean more than any other time and the activity um it's been studied in humans full moon the the moon is closer to the earth um distance wise and the light and the way that it's cast um, highlights more of our extroverted um personalities during the new moon it's very powerful you have more access to yourself during this time and connection, just like if it were to rain wherever you are, you get soaked and the earth gets nourished, the energies of the moon, you get soaked and you get nourished. If you, and if you know how to collect that energy and harness it, you can use the, for, um, metaphorically speaking, the rainwater to benefit you for the rest of the month and to do this over and over and over again and it's mentioned in the talmud it's mentioned in um that the they're considered new moons and full moons are considered holy days as well as um during the eclipses 
again, the shift that happens on Earth is pretty incredible during those full eclipses if you're in the region. There's, your heart is an electrico, electric magnetic field. Everything is energy and especially the, the close to, closest celestial body to us, right, forms a pattern. This pattern is not our thinking, it's geometry and profound. And we've now noticed the difference it makes in our blood, in our DNA, in our oceans. And um, certain things, certain seeds are recommended during the new moon versus the full moon, um, sprouting them or planting them. And they do better. And part of it might be um, our, the researcher, right? The effect of the researcher looking at it, right. the beliefs, the subconscious mind. But then again, it's measurable and it happens and has been recorded for over 5,000 years. Wow. When you ask Dr. Sarah a a question, (laughs) you get the answer. Absolutely. (laughs) I love it. I love it. Okay, I'll I'll refer one to Katota then. Um, For somebody that's never been to a new moon ritual and somebody that can actually make the ritual, you know, could be, you know, distance, couldn't make it. Mm -hmm. How does one that's never been part of a ritual do this at home by themselves that have never been able to uh, participate in a group setting? Oh, I love that question. This is great. So it can be exactly what you want it to be. You can take a glass of water and you can take a piece of paper and you can write down your intentions for the new moon. So let's say Let's say you wanted to get five more clients for your business, or let's say you needed a new car. You could write new car, five new clients, and then um, perfect health, because let's say maybe you were fighting off a cold. And then you put that underneath a glass of water. It's important to use glass. A glass of water, you leave it there for three days, and there's your new moon ceremony. It can be that simple. You can sage yourself. You can write down something. You can create a vision board. Anything where you're drawing in something new into your life is really important. It's um, it's very simple. Have fun with it. You know, it could be as simple as having one of these scarves, you know, and spraying the aura sprays on it and saying, with this, I am the violet flame, and that's who I am this month. It could be that simple. It's really what resonates with you, and um, it's three days before the new moon and three days after the new moon that you can do a new moon ceremony. Is there any type of crystals that you would suggest to be a part of the ceremony if, if I'm by myself? Absolutely. So are you wanting to draw in some money? Money, peace, <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever the, the universe will allow. Perfect. But, uh, mostly money and peace. Ametrine, because it's got citrine and amethyst, and then oh. a quartz crystal. And then take the quartz crystal pointed, and I want you to take it and point it at the crystal. So here's the quartz, hmm. and here's the crystal. You can put it this way, or you can put it this way. Right. It's more powerful this way. And so it, let's say that this was smaller. We'll do it this way. We'll say that this is the quartz and this is the crystal. So you get a big quartz crystal and you point it at the other crystal and it will amplify the power of that crystal. Oh, beautiful. Such a beautiful question. And I, I love selenite. Um, selenite. Selenite. Uh, selenite. It's a crystal. It's... Um, it's found in the places that are ver- vortex energies. It's found all over the world. It's very, very cleansing. And it can cleanse your energy field. I love your ceremony, Katoto. I, um, I love that you bring in the five elements, you know, earth, air, fire, water, mm-hmm. and your intention. And so cleansing with water water is very very important you're 70 percent water and if you bring in all of your organs you can even say up to 90 percent water and the studies show water has perfect memory so sitting with and listening to yourself say 
oh, it's quite possible I might have created or the water within me might have created a new moon ceremony in the past. Mm -hmm. And you sit with and you listen for and the sitting part is really, really important. 20 minutes um, at about minute 15, 16. All of the excessive thoughts or the wandering usually allows is less loud at the 15 minute mark. And you'll start to hear a small <coughs> inner voice tell you what would be optimal for you to do. So I love Katoto's formula here. It's so beautiful. And to add in prior to doing a new moon ceremony, sit for about 20 minutes and set the intention of hearing within yourself what your process, what you can add to that process and how to engage with the elements within yourself. And so um, after 20, 25 minutes of meditating, you'll come out of that with a list of what what is beneficial for you. So. Thank you so much. We appreciate your call. Thank you for your questions. We love that of you course. called in. Awesome. I appreciate it. And thank you, ladies. You're great. You're, You're awesome. welcome. <laughs> Are you right. ready for Bye -bye. our next caller? <laughs> I am. As well. Welcome, caller. We're so glad that you're here and we want to answer as many as we can. And so welcome. Um, what's your question? Hi, um, this is Lori. Hi, Lori. And Hi, Lori. It's good listening to the two of you, as always. Um, I love that you said every moment is a chance to turn it all around. I love hearing the new moon ceremony. And um, I uh, I want to say happy Mother's Day. I know if, uh, if you're both moms, but I know Dr. Sarah is. And... Um, no, I really have a sense of peace right now that I'm hoping to, or I should take the word hope out, that I'm embracing, um, honoring, and enjoying. And um, um, I really would like to express my love to my mom, mm. who I'm, um, you know, as you know, uh, when I lost my dad, I had a falling out with my mom that I think was mostly mostly related to both of us grieving and projecting uh, a very difficult time onto each other. And I still haven't seen my mom for a couple of years, but I know it's getting much closer to that time. She turned 92 in March. And um, I'm, I'm just wondering if... Um, I really don't know what I'm wanting here except to say that I'm really at peace in this moment. I'm happy to be here, and I'm acknowledging all that is working in my life. And I really would like to, I'd like that you said, if you can help someone, do. Do help them. We believe in doing the most we can do mm -hmm. for others. And, you know, I think I'm happiest when I'm, when I'm in connection with folks feeling... Um, feeling like uh, I'm being of support. And um, I guess I'm just uh, wondering for any kind of feedback, anything that I might be needing right now. Um, I am aware that I have in my mouth and my gum a sore, a very sore spot in my mouth. I don't know if it's uh, an infection, if I'm needing an epidentist or uh, if I can address it myself. But anyway, maybe I've bounced around a little bit too much Your but any, anything from the two beautiful. of you is always <laughs> warm and wonderful and, and makes me feel good and something that I can bring to somebody else um, but maybe because it's Mother's Day I guess I'd really like to express my love to my mom I mean That's I love her so much and me. What you're um, hearing Lori talk about is the newsletter that goes out. And in that newsletter, there are gifts and tips and meditations and um, resources for you. So every week, at least once a week, if not more often, we send you tools. And she is quoting right there what we believe at Miracle Makers Academy, 
so beautifully. We believe that it's the most that you can do. And if we can help someone, do help them mm. wherever you are. And then the part that um, I'm going to just go, Lori, I'm going to go quickly through your senses, right? Your sense of taste it has to do with electricity and it's electric. When you taste something, it sends an electric transmission through your body. When you're feeling touch, it is an infrared sensation. Oh, sorry. When you've I'm got sorry. Go a smell, you've got magnetic movement happening. When there's hearing, you've got ultrasound you know, happening and your body is, you've got ultrasound receptors, right? With light, you've got ultraviolet, those, um, all of the different receptors. To communicate with your mom, to have the shift and the love happen, you've got, she's alive within your DNA. Yeah, she's, thank goodness for all of us who still have our moms. Katoto's got her mom. Mm -hmm. And um, so beautifully, a lot of the work that Katoto has done has reconnected her in the most powerful way with her mom. It really has. It's wow. um, whether or not we're in c constant communication on the phone or through email or anything like that, our hearts are in communication. And there's a story I wanted to share. I, I don't know if I have time during this talk. This okay. So this is. Has anybody ever seen the movie Dude, Where's My Car? <laughs> <laughs> okay so I wasn't drunk or anything like that um but I was driving last summer my truck and I was driving it and I was in a place mentally that I shouldn't have been driving so I pulled over and I went into an office park and I didn't really pay attention to any signs or anything like that I just went into an office park and I sat down on the ground and I felt like I was dehydrated I definitely needed some water and they said are you okay and I said I need a solar powered ambulance, please. <laughs> that should tell you where I was at, right? So they put me in the hospital. My assistant's boyfriend came and picked me up. I was a little frustrated. I was like, I don't want to go back to that hospital and I don't care about my truck and I don't want to get anybody in trouble. It's probably gone and blah, 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 blah. So fast forward to less than a week ago, I had some visitors from the other side helping me. And all of a sudden I remembered something, and this is how they often help me. They'll, rem they'll remind you of something that you already knew, but it'll be obscure like from your childhood. And I remembered my mother teaching me how to put up pentacles and put up warts. And you go to the four directions and you simply draw them. And you draw a pentacle and you go like this. Wow. And then you do each direction like that. And so I went to the north, the south, the east, and the west, and then a couple minutes later, my phone rang, and this gentleman called me, and he said, I have your truck. <laughs> he said, I didn't want to, I didn't want to tow it. I didn't want to call the police. I didn't want to tow it. I had to break in to find out your number, but it's sitting right here. You can literally just come and pick it up. It needs a new battery. Wow. And wow. That's so magic. <laughs> That is using yeah. the electrical field, using energy to cause and create what you want to have happen. And when the four directions, right, Katoto learned this from her mom and stepfather when she was a child. And so it's programmed into her subconscious already and that everything is energy. And what you learned as a child is so powerful when you begin to utilize it as an adult, every one of your cells already knows, right, the left brain, your left brain is analytical and the right brain re receives energy and is connected to all of the cosmos. If you do movement, right, Katoto learned this movement to do that activated the magnetic force of her heart to get the result that she wanted. She used the four directions. Mm -hmm. Again, very powerful for you to orient your body to the four directions. So for you, with your relationship to anyone, especially to your mom, first get into your senses. Get into what would it taste like? 
to have a wonderful relationship with your mom? What would it smell like? What would it feel like? And then quite possibly if this resonates with you, uh, into the four directions, draw a symbol that was very powerful for you in childhood. And that symbol will generate and open in all the directions. It's your heart and your connection to love, the universe, God, source, whatever, however you might label something greater than yourself. And then you you surrender, right? You, you're you like, okay, this is what I want. This is what it's going to um, look like, feel like, taste like. And then so powerfully, you surrender to that. And you figure out the directions. What are the directions? East, north, south, west, right? And you call up this powerful symbol. And then um, you let it go. And your heart, the magnetic field, the laws of the universe, the sacred geometry that's alive in every one of your cells will go to work Mm -hmm. and allow you to manifest create exactly what it is with your mom. That's beautiful that you want to. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It sounds like intention, you know, intention. Um, um, You know, I I think in some ways um, it requires vulnerability, at least for me to express my love, even though my mom has said a couple of years ago, she told me that she thought, I was actually better at expressing my love than she is, which I don't know if that is true or not. I think we just do it in different ways. But, um, you know, I know I can't have my mom forever. Like I said, she just turned 92. But um, so I I feel like uh, it's time to really, really wake up and, and embrace how how fortunate, how blessed I am that my mom is still here to express my love too. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that share. Thank you, Lori. And we love. Well, thank, thank you very much. I'll let you move on to the next person and, um, happy mother's day and, uh, much magic to both of you. (laughs) Thank you. you. Blessed be. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I feel like every day we get to, every one of us has a mother. So we get to, thank goodness, right? (laughs) And Earth, we'll take the next caller. Welcome, caller. We're so excited that you're here. And we can't wait to answer your question. What's coming up for you? Uh, My name is Bob. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. How are you? Great, thank you. How are you? Great. well, great. It's it's really great, uh, Dr. Sarah, that you're there, because I definitely feel uh, a mother energy from you as long as I've known you. And I didn't realize it until this call that that was the case. So I want to start off by thanking you for that and just thanking you for all the love and support and uh, that I have felt over the years. And I think that is up for me right now that in terms of guidance and direction, I have this burning desire around health. And I've had a couple of health challenges. Um, You know, I was diagnosed, uh, I was HIV positive. And at the time that I was diagnosed, uh, that I found out about it, there were literally everybody around me was dying uh, very quickly, you know, and I just didn't take it all in. And I'm grateful that. All of these years that I've lived, as long as I have, and then I did have an experience where I was in the hospital where I have no memory of it. It was a case of fungal meningitis, and during that experience also, I had this greater feeling of love from the experience that I could have left but decided to stay. So my passion that I have is around the area of health, and basically, in terms of giving, I'm always like drawing to me people who have questions for me about health. And, uh, I mean, I look physically fit, and I seem to draw these people to me. And really, with a lot of love, I will send them information or I will create fact sheets and stuff like that. And it's all done just because I love to do it. And I'm wondering if you have any guidance for me 
on perhaps what my next step might be. Your next step comes in so strongly. You're here. Does it? It does. You're here and you're meant to, you've been in various places where production is always happening around you. You're meant to be really powerfully seen and you've got resources, um, uh, and knowledge from the inside on health and wellness and your body yes. has at least it's um 30 plus years worth of intense cultivation of an ideal response to stress yes. and so you are transmitting anyone around you can feel the transmission of wellness yes. health and it's now time to be seen, powerfully seen for you. You give right, exactly. so much. And so the next step is to start <laughs> um, with one step, one thing at a time, one transmission on what you're doing for yourself. Yes, and, exactly. Um, it's incredible because your body, your signature is sharing that you might be complete and ready to ascend to the next level when you are done with this body. That's why you've had so many near-death experiences over in in childhood and then with this. And you've um, midwifed quite a few people to the other side as well. And so, yes. um, What does that mean exactly? Well, you were there for them in, at times when no one else could be, and they felt your love. Yes. Yeah, I see. I feel that. Yes, I do. And also, the people that are coming into my experience, part of the energetic is um, surrounding them in love and appreciation and compassion. And mm-hmm. that's what happens for me. I mean, definitely when somebody comes in my experience at that has trouble, difficulty with weight, I feel such compassion for them. And I think that's what's being transmitted also. And it's because of my own, uh, the own, my own process that I've gone through. And it's, I believe this with my whole heart. Someone has to love yes. you in order to really transmit the healing vibration back and forth. Yes. But, um, yes. So, but the the heart has to be open, and Bob, you yes. open hearts wherever you go. It's such a gift, and you've done that since childhood with your innocence. The, yes, exactly. I feel that. The reason that I share this is you've got so many stories that are not yet told, and the first step yes. is on your social media to start telling those stories. The second part of this is you've got a lot of people that um, ask you the same questions over and over again. And to create something for that question that goes um, a lot longer. And then you've got the supplements around you. And so there's three different types. There's the stories. There's the answering questions. And then the usefulness of those um, substances that you're using. And so, I would, exactly, um, exactly. Could Toto, I wonder if you would do, could we do a, um, a grounding spray for your, there's so many resources that are coming forward for you. The second you start saying, this is what I want to do, the red, the root yes. chakra. Do you know, do you know? Bob? I do know Personally? Bob. Yeah. Okay, so this stone, yeah. yes. I can't remember the name of it, <laughs> but I will find out uh, for you. When you hold it in your receiving hand, it immediately aligns yes. and clears your chakras just by holding it. So, By I'm the way, gonna... does rose quartz have anything to do with this? It's not rose quartz, no. I want to say okay. kyanite, but okay. it's not kyanite. It's something similar that sounds like that. And you put it okay. in your hand, and the second you hold it, you're cleared, all the way, all the way down, all the way through. 
what I'm going and, to do. And Katoto is holding it for you right now as a surrogate. Good. Okay, good. So all you have to do is just a deep listening with your senses yes. and a deep breathing and a deep knowing, oh my gosh, you're keeping a divine appointment. And all yes. of the resources um, being able to come forward in the greatest way possible for you. So this is my gift to you. So yes. I'm going to give this to Dr. Sarah. I'm going to wrap it up in the Ancestral Healing Scarf. It was sprayed yes. with the Ancestral Healing Spray by Amanda Ellis in the UK. And Oh, wonderful. Yes. Yes. And so I'm, I'm fortunate enough to be one of her students. And so That's I'm wonderful. going to, to wrap this around. I used it a little bit for a dance. It's been here with all this beautiful energy of the labradorite. I've got the pyramids. I don't know if you can see. Can you see I've got the pyramids here? And I've got also, I'm going to lift this up so you can see. I've got the crystal charging plate um, by my friend okay. Karen LaGrange. If you're interested in anything, um, please do contact yes. me at my email address, and I will help you find some of these things. But this is my gift oh, to sure. you. And so Good. to ground, we'll do one of the um, crystal healing bowls of the labradorite. And Bob, this is for you. And I just set yeah. the intention that this reaches its yes. highest possible potential in your life and in every life that you touch. So mote it be. And yes. so it be. So it and is. I, I do feel this very strong feeling of a divine purpose for being here mm. that has gone beyond all of the challenges that I've had. And thank you for realizing that. Thank you for staying with yes. us. Thank you for energizing yes. it and that presence um, that you carry. You've carried yes. so many, and now it's you're ready to be seen, really, really seen. Right, right. Wow. And the thing is, I think that I will just be guided and that the people that I need to meet will be drawn to me, I believe. And Bob asked. Right? Ask. Yes, ask. Ask. I'm is, going to. Um, that is the direct message. Uh, um, share Good. what you're creating, and those three areas are your areas of expertise. And ask Good. for help and let it, uh, it get Good. Oh, good. through you. Yay. And by the way, Dr. Sarah, I have not signed up for the Mir Miracle Makers Academy. And I think I'm going to do that right away. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you. We're so grateful. I think that'll really support me as well. I, it does. That group energy tr transmits so beautifully. Thank I think you. I'm just ready for it right now. Yes. Thank That's you so great. much. Yay. So and awesome. you know what? I appreciate both of you so much. Oh. And I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. You're, You're so welcome. welcome. We appreciate you. I think we got Yeah, I'm just sending you so much love. Thank you, Bob. So we oh, received. Received. Thank received. You, thank you. Well, you. thank you so much for this time. You're so welcome. And I think, do we have time for one more caller? Yay. One more. Great. One more. Come on through. Caller, welcome. Welcome. We're so glad that you're here. Hi. Hello. Go ahead and say hello. And hi. 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 This is Erin. Hi, Erin. Oh, I'm so glad that you're here, Erin. Yes, How I are you? have caught you guys when you're live. I love it. <laughs> I am really good. Awesome. What can I, we answer for you? I have been asking the universe, like, okay, when can we connect? And today worked out perfectly, so I even got on live. That's even better. <laughs> so how does it get better than that? <laughs> um, well, Dr. Sarah and Kitoto, I was, well, I've been working, um, doing a lot of the work and I'm finding my voice and I'm feeling very, like there may have been some things uh, that have kind of taken me backwards a little bit, maybe energetically. I feel as if I'm really cleaning that up and I'm wanting to know my next step and also like towards my, my goals of you know, business or collaborations, whatever that looks like, 
um, any hints or any any information you could give me in that direction would be amazing. It's so beautiful, Erin. There is, you are right now spiritually writing a guide to success um, for the challenged woman. It's interesting because you're going to label the challenged woman with your own terms, but you have within yourself written beautifully the, the guide to success in the spiritual world. Does that make sense? In the spiritual energy field, you've got a guide ready to go. Wow. And um, it becomes, it's interesting because you've got to sanitize your area a little bit but, um, by getting really, really busy putting it on your c calendar. What does that mean? Because we started this call by saying add more of the things you want to do that you intend to do to your life and it will clear out just um, all of the lower priority things in your life. And so it will sanitize your life, so to speak. I want you to put on a calendar a particular amount of time that you're writing or creating video, but it feels very, very important that it be written. Um, a, a busy woman's guide to success, a single mom's guide to success, a diabetic's guide to success in, a, in the modern world. It's, you've got to label it yourself, but you've got this guide to success because where you were just a short while ago and to where you are now is amazing. And putting it into writing for yourself brings you to the next level of partnerships, relationships, things that you can co-create. And Katoto, anything that's coming through for you? Yes. I wanted to say I see you with index cards. So I see you with like post-it notes and index cards of really positive mantras about yourself, things that you can do, things that you want to do, but in the present tense, things that you have done. Um, I just see it kind of all over and, and I see you carrying these cards with you so that whenever a negative thought comes or whenever a doubt or whenever a shift that isn't the shift that you want, you take out one of those cards and say, okay, I am the woman who, I am the woman who does this, I am the woman who did this, I am the woman who did that. And so you have this kind of um, chips of achievement in your pocket, so to speak so that you can take them out anytime you, you come into any place of doubt. It, I, I w immediately was um, taken by the doubt, the doubt that you had when you asked the question that you asked, because I think that you know deep down who you really are and how capable you are. So you don't need to doubt or you, or you don't need us to tell you, oh, this is who you are. This is what you can do. I want you to sit down with pen and paper and I want you to write that out yourself. And I want you to put that on index cards. Will you do that for me? Yes, I will do that. Thank Writing you. keeps coming up. <laughs> I do have one additional question too. Um, my, I keep getting this rash that just really frustrating, especially on the back of my neck and my, my side of my mouth and around my eyes. Could you give me any insight on what I can do to help alleviate or what's maybe causing it? Um, I, I feel you and I feel that rash and it feels um, very, very much. And I'd love for you to write in Erin at drsarahlarson.com and I'll give you more specifics, but the, what's showing up is um, to clear it uh, right now is to add honey and coconut oil together to those areas and apply it as a mask and leave it on for, um, especially on the back of your head for at least 15 minutes minimum. There is a fungal variety of, the, um, it's um, three different things, but honey with coconut oil will help them all in this moment to um, so that the irritation that it's causing in your system gets uh, your healing, your autoimmune healing can come in and start the process. And then just write into us um, on drsarahlarson.com and I will send you something. 
from the website that will be very specific for you, love. Okay. Thank right, you so love. much. I appreciate you. You're so I welcome. appreciate both of you. You guys bring so much love and light to the world. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank Thanks. you so much for calling in. We're really glad to have gotten to know you and to hear from you on this call. Thank you so much. And Miracle Makers, we will see you next week um, here. Make sure you sign up for the newsletter. And we look forward to answering your questions. And the rest of whatever we didn't share will be in that newsletter. Oh, my gosh. Bye for now. Thank we you. love you. Thank you, Katoto, so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sarah. <laughs> Have fun. Bye. -bye.